Welcome everyone. Today, we're diving into the life and legacy of Paul Walker, the actor who won hearts as Brian O'Connor in Fast and Furious. Beyond the screen, Paul was a philanthropist, adventurer, and marine biology enthusiast. We'll explore his journey from Hollywood to his untimely passing, leaving behind a legacy that still inspires. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help spread Paul's story and support the channel. Let's get into it. About Paul Walker's early life and education. Paul Walker was born on September 12, 1973, in Glendale, California. His mother, Cheryl, was a fashion model, and his father, Paul William Walker III, was a sewer contractor and former amateur boxer who won two Golden Gloves championships. Walker's paternal grandfather had a brief boxing career as Irish Billy Walker, while another relative raced factory cars for Ford in the 1960s. Raised in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Walker had four younger siblings, Amy, Ashley, Caleb, and Cody. He grew up in Sunland, Los Angeles, and graduated from Village Christian School in 1991. Walker then attended community colleges in Southern California, where he majored in marine biology. About Paul Walker's career. Walker started his modeling career as a toddler, appearing in a Pampers commercial at age two. He later starred in commercials, most notably for Showbiz Pizza in 1984, and began acting on television that year in the CBS School Break special. He continued working in television until 1996, with roles in shows like Highway to Heaven and Throb. His first leading role was in the sitcom Throb in 1987. He later appeared in popular shows like Charles in Charge, Who's the Boss, and The Young and the Restless, where he gained fame and was nominated for a Youth in Film Award. Walker's film career began in 1986 with a role in Monster in the Closet. He appeared in low-budget films until landing his first feature film role in Meet the Deedles in 1998. Although the film wasn't a success, it led to supporting roles in Pleasantville, 1998, Varsity Blues, 1999, She's All That, 1999, and The Skulls, 2000. His breakthrough came in 2001 when he starred opposite Vin Diesel in The Fast and the Furious, which became a massive hit and launched a successful franchise. Walker reprised his role in the sequel, Too Fast Too Furious, 2003, and later returned to the franchise after a seven-year hiatus in Fast and Furious, 2009. The film set a new record for the franchise's highest-grossing release at that time. Walker continued to star in the following installments, earning praise for his performances and winning multiple awards, including an MTV Movie Award for Best On-Screen Duo with Diesel. In addition to the Fast and Furious series, Walker starred in other films like Joy Ride, 2001, Into the Blue, 2005, and Flags of Our Fathers, 2006. He also founded a film production company, Laguna Ridge Pictures, in 2012. After Walker's death in 2013, four films featuring him were released, including Hours, 2013, and Furious 7, 2015. His likeness was recreated for Furious 7 using a combination of his brothers, Caleb and Cody, as stand-ins, older footage, and CGI. The film was released in 2015, and Walker posthumously won a Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Actor, Action. About Paul Walker's Personal Life Walker was raised in a Latter-day Saint household but later became a non-denominational Christian. He lived in Santa Barbara with his dogs. Walker had a daughter, Meadow Rain Walker, with Rebecca Sateros, a childhood friend. Meadow lived with her mother in Hawaii before moving to California to live with Walker in 2011. Walker was close friends with Vin Diesel, who was Meadow's godfather, and Tyrese Gibson. Walker held a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and was awarded a black belt posthumously. He was also an avid car enthusiast, competing in the Redline Time Attack Racing Series. Walker co-owned a high-end vehicle performance shop called Always Evolving with his friend Roger Rodas. In 2010, Walker founded the humanitarian aid organization Reach Out Worldwide ROWW, in response to the Haiti earthquake. He also pursued his passion for marine biology, joining the board of directors of the Billfish Foundation in 2006 and starring in National Geographic's expedition Great White in 2010. About Paul Walker's Awards Paul Walker earned notable awards and nominations, especially for his role in the Fast and Furious series. He won the MTV Movie Award for Best On-Screen Duo with Vin Diesel for The Fast and the Furious, 2002, and Fast and Furious 6, 2014, and also received the MTV Movie Award for Best On-Screen Team in 2002. Posthumously, he was awarded the Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Actor, Action for Furious 7, 2015. Earlier, 
he was recognized for The Young and the Restless, winning Soap Opera Digest's Outstanding Male Newcomer, 1994, and two Young Artist Awards. He also earned Teen Choice nominations for Choice Movie, Chemistry for Fast and Furious 6, 2013, and Too Fast Too Furious, 2003. In 2001 and 2000, he was named New Stylemaker, Male and Exciting New Face, Male at the Young Hollywood Awards, respectively. About Paul Walker's death. On November 30, 2013, Walker and Roger Rodas left an event for ROWW in a 2005 Porsche Carrera GT. While driving in Valencia, California, Rodas lost control of the car, which crashed and caught fire. Both men died at the scene. The investigation concluded that the car's speed and the age of the tires were the main factors in the crash. Filming of Furious 7 was halted after Walker's death, and production resumed only after consulting with his family. Walker was cremated, and his ashes were buried in a non-denominational ceremony at Forest Lawn Memorial Park. His life was later chronicled in the documentary I Am Paul Walker, released in 2018. About Paul Walker's Lawsuits In December 2014, Walker's father filed a wrongful death claim against Rodas's estate, seeking the return of jointly owned automobiles. Walker's daughter, Meadow, also filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Porsche in September 2015, claiming design defects in the car contributed to the accident. Porsche denied responsibility, and separate out-of-court settlements were eventually reached. About Paul Walker's philanthropic work. Paul Walker was passionately devoted to philanthropy, especially in environmental and humanitarian efforts. In 2010, he founded the non-profit organization Reach Out Worldwide, ROWW, in response to the devastating earthquake in Haiti. Rowe's mission is to provide rapid response aid to disaster-stricken areas by augmenting local relief efforts with skilled volunteers. Walker was not just the face of ROWW but also an active participant, often traveling to disaster zones to offer hands-on assistance. Following his passing, Walker's family established the Paul Walker Foundation to continue his legacy. This foundation focuses on ocean and wildlife conservation, reflecting his deep love for marine biology. Additionally, it provides scholarships to young leaders who are committed to making a positive impact in their communities, furthering Walker's vision of giving back to the world. About Paul Walker's house. Paul Walker's house was located in Santa Barbara, California. It was a beautiful property that reflected his love for nature and the outdoors. The house featured stunning views of the ocean, which aligned with his passion for marine biology and conservation. Walker enjoyed a relatively private life away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood, and his home was a sanctuary where he could relax and spend time with his family and friends. After his tragic passing in 2013, the house became a part of his estate, managed by his family. They have continued to honor his legacy through various philanthropic efforts and by maintaining the property. That's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us as we delved into the remarkable life of Paul Walker. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Your support helps us continue to bring you more stories like this. See you in the next video.